Hey, what's up? It's JB, session 13. This is our last rock and blues session in the key of A. Um, we'll come back a little bit here and there, but this is the kind of the last pattern. This is one that I didn't show you in any of the earlier sessions. Uh, well, I showed you part of it. I showed you um, the speed lead. So this is uh, fret 7 through 10, uh, and you're not going to have to move your wrist, but we're going to use every string. Uh, and every one of your fingers, okay? So this pattern is pretty cool, especially if you don't like to move around a lot. Uh, it's pretty versatile because you get a, you've got a lot of range here from already there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start on the seventh fret, sixth string, all right? And we're gonna go seven, eight, 10. And then on the fifth string, we're gonna go seven, nine, 10. And then on the fourth string, we're gonna go seven, nine, 10. And then on the third string, we're just gonna go seven, nine. All right, and you know the rest. Is that your speed lead, right? So, you're gonna go. And just to have a little fun with it, um, on three on three nine, do a little push or pull or pull there. It's really sweet in the key of A. It's a beautiful place to just. Really, really nice there. And you know, you get your speed lead from there. Back to the riff. You try it. Nice and slow. Alright, now bear with me here. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you a little a little riff that you can do off of this. Um, and it's on some of it's on some of your uh, you know from from four to six, which it, Gives you a little bit different sound. A lot of people riff kind of on their first three strings a lot. Um, this one gives you a little bit more of a baritone feel to it. Um, and it sounds really nice, uh, depending on what songs you're playing to, right? So. So we're going, we're on third string. That's on your fourth string, right? Okay. Okay. Then we're gonna get. All right. So. You try it. Sounds sweet. It's nice. All right. That's the first part. Now let's teach just the straight pattern because this is this is one that um, so that's your riff, but it, that's one of your riffs. I'm gonna teach you a couple more, but just the basic pattern all the way across is a great way to warm up. First and second strings are uh, are seven, eight, ten. Now 
Now, what's really fun to do if you're if you're getting ready to play a gig or something, you're trying to warm up, instead of doing the standard. Okay? Do this. Do that about 30 times, then let your hand rest a little bit, shake it up, and you'll be ready to play. Like, it, it's cool. Now, let's just go ahead and take it all the way um, from top to bottom. Okay. Now, the riff that I just showed you. You could actually start it really, if you have enough time. Practice it. Okay? All right, that one's fun. All right, now I'm going to teach you another one. Again, don't have to move your wrist. Uh, we're not using all the notes in the pattern. We're going to use some. We're going to stay on the top and the bottom. We're going to stay easy. Um, here, let me show you what I'm doing. That one's kind of fun to do. You want to dance around when you're doing that. Kind of fun little riff to play, and again, the risk is to stay in the same place. Gives you a little more variety um, and certainly a lot more range. All right, nice and slow. You don't have to do that. Like, like mix it up. Do your own thing with that. If you want to just stay in one place. All right, you try it. Let's get into some pushes and some pulls. That sounds really good. So on on nine, it's fun. To, or, uh, yeah, on nine, it's really really fun to to push or pull that one. And listen, push or pull, whatever you're, whatever. I, I like to pull, but I'll push too. But whatever. There, there's like nobody's right. Like some people will say, "Well, you gotta do it this way." Listen, be you, right? Like, don't let other people say, "Well, you gotta do it this way." Just watch them and try it. And if it feels good, then you're you're good. If it doesn't feel comfortable, try it a different way. You may end up that you may end up a push. It, it feels better than a pull, or or what have you, right? It's about um, listen. There's no there's no book that says you have to play things a certain way. Um, you got to be unique and you got to be you. Just ask Jimi Hendrix, right? If he's around. Okay. Okay. So that's a great place to pull. Um, seven's a great place to pull, but I always like to include my B string when I'm pulling, um, pulling my G string on seven. No, you don't have to. You can be right either way. Or you can put, or you can push, and pull in your B string. Or you can even include your E, your just your uh, your your seven on your on your third string, and and use your pinky on your first string. And if 
you want to get really fun, pull your pull three seven and tap on nine. And let it go down. Try that. Try that one with uh, with your uh, with your main lead channel. A little delay up. Sound like an air raid. That's fun to do, like if you're doing a lead solo just by yourself. Uh, when the band's taking a break, um, you get out there and you start looking up in the air like there's an air raid coming and you start playing. That's a lot of fun. Uh, I used to do that. All right. Another, another nice place to push or pull is, is uh, 3 5. And, uh, well, that was 4 5. That's good. And 3 5. So get some backing tracks going, figure out where your pushes and pulls sound really good based on what key you're playing in. Alright, so that's your session for today. Um, Definitely warm up using this, and, and it, it, it's a lot of fun uh, when you're riffing off of this pattern. Again, you can get a lot of speed on your speed leads if that's what you want, uh, but you can take it so much farther and do a lot of other things with it. So please experiment with all the riffs that we taught you. Please subscribe to my channel. Uh, have a good week. Rock on. I'll talk to you later.